Hi, my name is Donna Miller, and I'm going to show you how to get special characters on your fonts, such as the hearts and different ligatures. So it, this is the Pretty Hardy font. It is by EF Studios. I really enjoy their fonts. As you're looking through the font, you can see that this has special characters on there. And I'm going to show you how to get the special characters using your MacBook. My other favorite font from them is the Hello Honey font. I just adore this font. I love the heart in the middle. It would be really great for signs and everything. And you can see the different ligatures that they have. And I'm going to show you how to get that using your MacBook for free. So when you go into Cricut Design Space and you're looking at your different fonts, you will notice that the special characters and the ligatures do not show up into Cricut Design Space. Now I'm going to show you the Hello Honey font. If you buy the commercial license, you will get the hearts and the ligatures in there. But as you're typing, it's still just not the way that you would want them to look because it's just a bunch of hearts thrown together or it's a bunch of the ligatures together and that's still not quite what you want. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your top window, click on it to bring down that green arrow and click on the green arrow. Then at the top of the right hand window there's a search icon. You want to click on that icon and type in font. So you're looking for the font book app and you're going to click that button. So once you're in the font book application, you can use the left hand side of the menu to sort through your fonts. You can either pick all fonts, computer, or your user. And then the middle part will show you all of the fonts that you have listed there. So you want to scroll down and select your font. Then you can look at the top of your menu on the left. There is a button that has a bunch of circles in it and you want to click on that button after you have your font picked out. I'm going to use the Pretty Hardy font for this example. So you can see all of the characters that this font has to offer. So as you're scrolling through all of your characters, you want to actually select the one that you want to use. In this example, I'm going to use the heart with the E on it. So once you've made your selection, you want to click and drag across the one that you want, and then you're going to hold the Command plus the C button down on your computer to copy your choice. This works best if you only select one character at a time. Then you want to go back into Cricut Design Space and you want to select on your text and find where you want to put that special character at. Once you delete out the old character, you will hold the Command plus V button on your computer and that will paste in your special character in the spot that you had selected. So I don't like having all of the gaps in between the letters, so I like to go up to letter space and I lower that down so that there aren't any gaps in between the letters. And then I like to go up to the advanced option and I click ungroup to letters and then I like to move each individual letter exactly where I want them positioned. When I'm finished, then I like to click and drag across the entire thing and then I hit the weld button. So now I'm going to show you a mistake that can happen when you are using this method. So I'm going to go ahead in Cricut Design Space and type in my name. I'm going to use the Hello Honey font this time in the font book. I'm going to hold Command plus C on the keyboard so that I can get the heart in between here. So I'm going to delete out my old letter that I don't want. I'm holding Command plus V on the keyboard and now you can see that there's just this weird question mark on here and that is because you need to actually change the font to being the Hello Honey font. 
So unfortunately, you cannot mix and match different types of fonts. You have to stay consistent with the same font. If you wanted to mix and match different fonts, then you would have to have multiple text box options available to you. So if you like this video, please share it with others. Also click that like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything.